Next up, we have West Charlotte. They will be traveling to Huff. All right, so our players to watch here, for West Charlotte athlete, Damian Rodriguez. Watched him some earlier in the season when we uh, saw West Charlotte against West Mech. Uh, made a couple nice catches over the middle of the field. Um, he's a good sized kid, man. Um, and like I said with some of these other guys before, uh, when you watch his highlights, he's just an overall solid football player. Uh, he can, I think he can help a school on the next level for sure. And um, I certainly hope he gets the opportunity to uh, do that. Uh, very, very fun uh, player to watch. Uh, for Huff, linebacker Landon Elliott. Um, once again, you know, the Huff defense, I think they, they've turned the corner. They're doing a, a good job. Um, and, and this kid just, you know, is a good, good technique player. Uh, form tackles well, um, reads his keys, gets to the football. And uh, when he gets there, you know, the play's done. Um, uh, just a solid overall football player once again, you know, for the Huskies. Um, big, big game once again here in the IMAC, especially for West Charlotte. Um, tough loss against Vance last week, but, you know, they still got a shot at the playoffs. And they got to start stacking wins. Um, and then Huff, you know, undefeated in conference play right now. Um, I know they got their eyes on a big matchup with Mallow Creek coming up, but they got to handle business this week, you know, against West Charlotte. Um, when you're facing West Charlotte, you know, West Charlotte has kind of, you know, changed their offense. They're throwing the football a little more with Silas Cruz. So Huff, number one, get after the pass. So I think defense tackle Curtis Neal can do a good job of that, absolutely. Um, and then number two um, for West Charlotte, um, they got to contain, you know, the Huff athletes in space. They're doing a good job getting the football out with Darius Ocean, who's um, throwing the football much better within the offense now. And then why was he with Devin Chandler? He's a player. Uh, Division one level talent. He's got D1 offers. You got to find a way to slow him down. And then of course, you got to worry about Evan Pryor. Oh, yeah. Don't forget about him. <laughs> so. Huff presents a lot of challenges, but I know West Charlotte will be ready, and uh, Coach Harris will have those guys motivated and uh, fired up on Friday night. Good luck, guys. Thanks for watching.